Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about how to draw a regular hexagon using the protractor and the ruler. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now if we talk about regular hexagon class, it has 6 equal sides and each interior angle must be congruent. So we have given side that is 4 cm but we don't have the measure of each interior angle. So the first thing that we need to do class is we need to find first the measure of each interior angle before we can draw the regular hexagon. And we can use this formula to find the value of each interior angle. That would be the sum of the interior angles. That would be quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now once again class, there are some cases that the teacher will give you the value of each interior angle. That would be a good thing for you because you can just simply draw the regular hexagon. But if it's not given class, you need to find the measure of each interior angle. So let's find first the measure before we can draw this one. Alright, so if we have a hexagon, not a regular hexagon class, just a simple hexagon. Alright, so this is not a regular hexagon because the sides are not equal. Alright, so we have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now for the interior angles class, this one. Okay, the interior angles. We can find the sum of these interior angles by using this formula. Once again, to find the sum of these interior angles, we can find it by using this formula. So that would be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So to find the sum, that is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So n represents for the sides. So we have 6 sides. So 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So 6 minus 2, that's 4 times 180 degrees so 4 times 180 that would be 720 degrees so let me check let's double check using the calculator 4 times 180 that would be 720 degrees now since the measure of each interior angle should be equal we need to divide this one by 6 once again the sum of the interior angles of any kinds of hexagon class the sum of the interior angles that would be 720 degrees now, since we want to have equal interior angles, we need to divide this one by 6. So, 720 divided by 6, the answer is 120. So, 120 degrees. Therefore, each interior angle, that is 120 degrees. Now, once you have the measure of each interior angle, go ahead, class. We can now draw the regular hexagon. Alright, so let's draw the regular hexagon. So, first step, you draw a horizontal line that is 4 cm. So, First half, draw horizontal line. That is 4 centimeters. Alright, so once again, this, these are centimeters on the top part. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 centimeters. Alright, you put end points. Then you can sketch this one with a ball pen. Alright, now next step class is we need to use our protractor for the angle. Alright, so use protractor for the angle. Now, once again, for the angle, that's 120 degrees. Now, in this last point, plus this end point, the second point, you align this center part of the protractor on the second point, and then zero plus you align zero in this horizontal line. Once again, align zero in this horizontal line for the degrees. Then the center part plus this one, you align this one in the center part of your protractor. Alright, and then align zero in this horizontal line. So you will have your angle class, you have 10, okay, 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. So we need to have, we need to have 120 degrees. So this will be 120 degrees. As you can see, this is 120. Alright, so this will be our guide for the angle. And we need to measure 4 centimeters. So use your ruler to measure 4 centimeters. Alright, so we have 4 centimeters. Alright, so this will be our third point. So line segment. And then you can sketch this one with a ball pen. Alright, and this will be our third point, second side. Alright, so next step, once again, use your protractor. To draw the angle 120 degrees, once again, your angle will, will form like this. So you will start zero here. So you align zero in this second side. And then this last point plus will be the center part of your protractor. 
So center part of your protractor, then you align zero in this second side because your angle forms like this. Alright, so you start, you align zero in the second side, then the center part, this one, of your protractor. Alright, so there you have it. So zero is aligned in the second side. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have 120 degrees. Okay, so you, I hope you can see this one. Plus. 120 degrees. So this will be our guide for the angle. Alright, and then you measure plus using your ruler. So 4 centimeters. So let's have 7 to 3. That would be 4 centimeters, right? 7 to 3. Alright, let's check. 7 to 3. Alright, 7 to 3. So let's measure this one. If this is 4 centimeter, yep. Yep, that is 4 centimeters. So you sketch this one with a ball pen. Alright, so that would be our third side. Once again, for our third side, our angle forms like this. So you align zero in this third side. Once again, you align zero in this third side. And this last point, that would be the center part of our protractor. So this is the center part for the last point. Then you align zero in this third side. Alright, and we have, we have zero, 10 degrees, 20, 30. Once again, plus your angle forms like this. So your angle forms like that. That's that's why we start zero here, zero, then ten degrees, twenty, and so on. So center part, then we align zero. All right. So we have zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, ninety, hundred, hundred, ten, hundred, twenty. All right. So we have one hundred twenty. All right. So I hope you see this one, class. So we have 120 degrees. That, that is, this will be our reference for the angle. And then you sketch using your ruler for centimeters. So let's have seven to let's have seven to three. That would be four centimeters, right? Seven to three. Alright, so let's measure. Seven to three, yep, that is four centimeters. You sketch this one with a ball pen. And this will be our last point. So next, from this last point, this will be you align zero in this particular last side. Alright, and this last point, you align this in the center part of your protractor. Alright, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 90, 100, 110, 120. So this will be our reference for the angle, 120 degrees. And then you sketch this one with your ruler. So 4 centimeters. Alright, and then you sketch with a ball pen. Alright, and then last one, of course, this will be 4 cm class. So let's check if this is 4 cm for the last one. Yep, that is exactly 4 cm. All set. That's it class. Alright, so that's how you draw a regular hexagon. Now once again class, do not forget to label because there are some cases that they will advise you to label your regular hexagon. So once again, for the sides, we have 4 cm. So, 4 centimeters each side. So, same value. 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and then 4 centimeters. And for the angle, that would be 120 degrees. So, this angle right here. So, we have 6 interior angles. And it should be equal because this is a regular hexagon. So, for the angle, that's 120 degrees. 120 degrees. 120 degrees, 120 degrees, 120 degrees, and 120 degrees. Alright, so all set class. That's how you draw a regular hexagon. So I hope this video helps. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, plus the next part of our video is how to draw a regular octagon, a regular decagon, and a regular pentagon. And I will just put the link on the description down below. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.